lobster place is unlike any hospitality spot that I've ever been in. My life was child's play before this. My name is Jessica Birkins. I am the VP here at CHO, which is the Chief Hospitality Officer. I'm operating the hospitality business here in the retail component next door. Prior to this, I ran single restaurants, similar to Cullen Pistol, where we're sitting now, where it's, you know, up to 250, 300 seats, but it was one single concept under one roof. Lobster Place is really three different concepts. We have a retail component, which is the backbone of our business. That's how Lobster Place started in the 70s. In addition to our retail store next door, we also have a seafood food hall. Within that food hall, we have the raw bar, which is a standalone raw bar where you kind of belly up and order oysters and have a beer. And then additionally, the sushi bar consists of the sit-down dining area where you can sit and have an omakase experience. The third component, the third little restaurant essentially, or concession within the food hall, is what we call the galley. That's our kitchen component. So we steam lobsters to order, uh, sandwiches, lobster rolls, chowders, bisque, all that kind of jazz. We also have a wholesale business in the Bronx. We distribute to about a thousand restaurants in New York, the best of the best, in my humble opinion. And then we have Cullen Pistol, where we're sitting now. This is more of the full service restaurant where people can actually sit down. The goal for us is to treat our people with respect. We understand that in order for our guests to be happy and our business to thrive, that our people need to be happy. My experiences have shaped who I am today and, and how I run this business when it comes to hospitality and it wants, when it comes to how we treat our employees. I've worked in toxic environments and restaurants. Um, in fact, I would say that everywhere I worked prior to this space was toxic. To me, a true leader is someone who provides unsolicited encouragement and praise. That's something I try to be, but for a long time I expected that of those around me, the leaders around me, and it did become clear to me that I couldn't count on everyone else trying to be that person or being that leader. What's been wonderful is that I've been able to take my experiences and make sure that no one that works for me ever has them. It takes a village to be able to uphold all of these standards. You need to have people on your team that are smart, that are passionate, that care about you and that treat the business like it's, it's their own. If you don't have that, you don't have people to lean on, like we all have soft spots, right? We all have fail points and you need a village of people to be able to run one of these things. There's no question to us that our culture and our people are how we achieve success.